Hi, my name's Kat Evans from BCF Technology and I'm the in-house radiographer. The idea of the video today is just to show you how to use your dental plate system that goes with your Vita or VitaFlex computerised radiography system. You will notice during the video I'm wearing gloves and this is because sweat, saliva, hand gel, alcohol gels and different things are all corrosive to the screens. So in order to protect the screens we always recommend you wear gloves. There's three main components. You have the cassette, the holder and then obviously the little mini screens. I want to talk to you a little bit about the screens just so you know what they do. The white side is the active side and this is the side you're actually going to take your x-ray on and in the little corner there's a marker and the marker is re replicated on the back side and this enables you to orientate the cassette within the dog's mouth or screen within the dog's mouth. Before you use the screens you always need to erase them because they're a lot more sensitive to light than a normal CR screen. To erase them, it's very simple. Using your holder, you need to slide the screen in white side up. Sometimes you need to put a tiny bit of pressure just onto the back of the holder to make it easier to slide in. Slide it right the way across and it's in the holder. Then red arrow to red arrow, slide that into the cassette and then just process that through your Vita or your Vita Flex, the same as normal, using the erase function. Once you've erased it, you'll have the cassette back, you want to take the screen out. To do this you need to look for the little slider on the underside and what you'll do is pop your finger into there and slide it across to the open end of the cassette and that gives you back the holder. You've now got about a minute or so before this will start to fog so quite soon you want to slide it out keeping it flat, use one of the hygiene sleeves and what you want to do is when you insert it is always insert the screen so that you can still read the text and there is then a little pull off sticky bit on the end which can be tricky when you're wearing gloves that you want to pull off so that you seal this before it goes in the animal's mouth. When you're positioning it in the mouth you want the white side towards the x-ray generator so that you can't see the writing. Once you've taken the x-ray wipe that off to remove any um, saliva etc from being in the animal's mouth and then rip the end off to take the screen out, slide it back out and as much as possible you can see I'm trying not to touch the white side, reload that back into the holder and pop that back into the cassette and then that's ready to be processed. Whenever you process this cassette or the screens it will always erase them so that will be ready to use again. I'm just reminding you to take it back out slide like that. It does actually always work best if you have it down flat. You will notice there are eight slots on here so you can actually process multiple cassettes or multiple screens at the same time but the thing to remember if you're loading them all in is just to make sure you don't then leave this sat on the side because it will fog. Also when you're taking dental images you have to remember you need a substantially higher exposure than you would using a normal CR screen um, and this can be up to four times what you would think you would be using if you were using a normal cassette so don't be surprised that you have to use quite a high exposure.